Hi everybody, this is Frank from Mustel Wine Grape Company. Uh, welcome to our first uh, seminar that we're having on uh, cleaning and sanitizing. Very important topic, without that you could possibly ruin your wine for an unnecessary reason. So what we're going to talk about today is cleaning and sanitizing. When it comes to cleaning, we like to keep things simple. So the two things that we offer at the store is a Be Bright solution and a One Step solution. Um, the recommended dosage on that is you take one tablespoon per gallon of water, uh, mix it in a pail. It can be used for that day only and then be disposed after that. Um, we'll talk about the processes of that. The other half of the situation is how do we sanitize. And to sanitize we use potassium metabisulfite. The rule of thumb on potassium metabisulfite is you add two and a half tablespoons per gallon. So we have one tablespoon per gallon on cleaner, two and a half tablespoons per gallon on the metabisulfite. So when we do our cleaning, again we mix this in a pail, we use it with a rag and we end up cleaning our equipment which I'll show you in a second. When it comes to sanitizing, we're going to end up putting it in a gallon jug and storing it. So when we store our potassium metabisulfite, take a gallon jug, put two and a half tablespoons of potassium metabisulfite in the jug, fill up the jug, give it a shake, and this will be good for up to three months. I suggest you label the container so that it's labeled for safety um, to make sure it's still good. Uncap it, take a little whiff, and you'll get a very strong odor which tells you that it's still valid. The other thing I like to tell people to do is to get a spray bottle, also label that, put some potassium metabisulfite in that, and you can use this to spray down any of your equipment rather than trying to wash it down with the rag. So, three things we usually like to wash. Let's say our carboys first. Um, we usually like to take our carboy, rinse it with water, then we'll put some of our Be Bright solution in it, shake it up well, dump it out, rinse it a couple times with water to get everything clean. Then we're going to pour a little bit of our potassium metabisulfite into the carboy, shake it up so it's sanitized, drain it, and then let it dry upside down in a holder. That's the way we want to clean our carboys. When we want to clean our pails, we're going to, once we're done, whether we're fermenting or using them for juice, we're going to give them a rinse. We're going to go into our pail of, of, of our solution of, say, Be Bright with a rag. We're going to wipe it all down and get it uh, wet. Um, you'll see that that will suddenly start to turn blue. It's breaking down any of that grape that was left in there. We dump it, again, rinse it a couple times with water to clean it. Here's where we take our spray. We spray the inside of the pail, spray the outside of the pail, turn it upside down, and let it drain. So that's one of our other pieces of equipment we need to clean. Probably the last one that people don't really think about a lot is your tubing and your hoses. We also want to do the same thing with that. So the procedure is the same thing. If I have a hose, I'm going to run cold water through it first to rinse it and get any of the wine out. I'm going to run some Be Bright through it, and if you don't have a pump that you're using, just put it in the pail of Be Bright, get all the Be Bright in there, pull it out, rinse it a couple times with some hot water, make sure it's all clean. Then we're going to take our hose and we're going to spray sulfite inside the hose, spray the outside of the hose, give it a little bit of a shake, and then we're going to end up letting it air dry. So, very simple, but follow the rules. Um, try not to use anything with chlorine in it. It will end up tainting the wine and causing a problem later on. These are non-chlorine free uh, ingredients. They'll do a great job for you. They'll get your equipment clean. The last thing is, the next time we end up using this pail, it's already been cleaned, I'm going to give it one spray of sulfite and start to use it. If I'm going to use my carboy, a little bit of potassium added by sulfite in there, shake it up, dump it, and use it. And the same thing with the hoses. I'm going to spray the inside and the outside with sulfite, and then we're ready to use. So that concludes our first session, uh, short seminars. And we'll be having these monthly for you. Hope you tune in. We'll have different topics every month. Happy winemaking.